Okay, this is replicating the uh, freezing issue with Ali Noir on this particular Xbox 360. Fire up the game. Previously it was not installed on the hard drive and it was having the freezing issues, so it has now been installed on the hard drive, the first disc at least, so we'll resume the game here. That was a quick one. Uh, usually I could hop in the car and get about uh, 30 seconds down the road before a freeze, but that was pretty much immediate. So with this console, it's random as to when it happens. You don't even have to be doing anything, uh, apparently. And uh, it'll freeze. And there we go. It took a little longer than usual, but... As you'll notice, the uh, receiver in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen just flashed back to uh, um, from Dolby Digital to just, and now it doesn't know what signal it's getting. And the controller is stuck rumbling right now, but uh, it's frozen. Let me through. I just want a quick look is all. Up in the car. Too far in. Okay, back again. This time we're moving the um, uh, save game and user preferences, if possible, off onto the uh, memory unit. Okay, so there's nothing here except for the installed game now. Let's see what happens when I install or start a new game. Except I forgot to pull out the memory card. Alright, so we're creating some save data. New game. Alright, so I'll start a new game and try to get to the same point. Um, oh, nope. Never mind. Locked up. Okay, well, it's not on film, but uh, I pulled the hard drive after moving my save game and user preferences over to a memory unit. Uh, hard drive's currently out, uh, memory unit's in, and uh, I was able to play up through um, interrogating. Kalu, whatever his name is, um, and got the promotion, got the achievement, and now you can see on the screen it says saving, as it was saving to the memory unit, it uh, hung up again. So I thought pulling the hard drive was actually helping, but uh, I mean, I got a little farther than I had been before, but now it's uh, frozen again.